Jim Plunkett. Jim Plunkett to me is the embodiment of the Raider. Rejected by the mainstream, rejected by the establishment, washed up, but Al saw the greatness in him because we see greatness where others don't. We're, we are a team that is made up of other players that deserve a second, or wanted a second chance and got one with us and revitalized our career. Talk about a comeback story, heck, that might be the best comeback story ever. Plunkett was a Heisman Trophy winner and the top pick in the 1971 draft. But his career crashed and burned in New England and San Francisco before joining the Raiders in 1978. I don't even think the league knew where he went for two years. He was on our bench. He was hiding out. But he was mending. His brain was mending. He was getting his confidence back. The number eight Raider on our list took over for an injured Dan Pastorini in 1980 and led the Cinderella Raiders to victory over the Eagles in Super Bowl 15. Everyone thought his career was over. Throwing for King. And go all the way. 40, 30. Touchdown, Oakland. This was the finest hour in the history of the Oakland Raiders. You were magnificent out there today. You were I think oftentimes players that go there, there was always that mystique that they're going to re you know, reinvent you. But I think Jim is living proof is that you have to be in the right system at the right time. Because of that long, deep arm and Cliff Branch and those guys, Al Davis could do what he did best, and that was to strike with the deep ball. Rolling. And throwing long to Branch. All the way to the 37-yard line. Under the tutelage of head coach Tom Flores, Plunkett became a true Raider reclamation. So big, so strong, they just got the ball there somehow or another. Boom, it was there. And Jim was less concerned about how good he was going to look and more concerned with how good we were going to be. Doesn't always look the best, sometimes looks a little awkward out there. While Marcus Allen stole the show in Super Bowl 18, our number eight Raider efficiently led Oakland to victory. He was able to utilize his great experience and be the leader of that group of people. Plunkett's quiet persona and rocky early career have left him out of the Hall of Fame, but his two Super Bowl wins cannot be overlooked. I think Jim is, is probably not given enough credit for what he did for the Raiders in terms of leading that team as a person. One of the most underrated players of all time. Because without Jim Plunkett's expertise and guidance, you could really build a good case that maybe those two Super Bowls might not have actually happened. Touchdown! Love Plunkett. He should be higher than, was he number eight? He should be higher than number eight.